Looking for RC products on the web? Check out rcdeal.com. This segment is sponsored by rcdeal.com. Hi, DJ Wadafna. We're here going to unbox the new short course TS4 4x4 Pro Roller. This is our box, and this is what we're showing for pictures on the front. Of course, we're going to unbox this one and show you what's in the box itself and get to the details of the car. Part number 14310, that is the part number you'll be looking for on this Pro Roller, and you'll be able to check your stores, uh, local hobby shops for pricing, and so on. So we'll get this open. Of course, it's in a slider box, and we'll pull that sleeve right out. And I'm looking at this, I believe it's probably upside down. Yes, it is. So we'll get it out of the box here. Of course, it's in a plastic corrugated box, something you can save and uh, put it back in at the end of the day if you're racing and so on. You're going to have the clear body that you're going to see at the very uh, start of this, of course. And I just want to make a note when you see this uh, clear body that we'll pull out of the bag here. Um, of course, it does have per uh, filming on it to protect it from overspray when you're doing your details for your painted body on there. And this is a different style body versus the two-wheel drive. Of course, this is more of a um, flow, airflow type of body where it has extra gilling in the back so you can cut out to specific designs and so on. Um, so you'll be able to do the extra venting from the fenders themselves, of course. You're going to see all that. And also on the front of the hood, too, and you'll see that right up here, that you'll be able to vent also to get some of the airflow out of these bodies. Of course, 4x4s have a lot more power to put down and to get in the air pretty well, so you want them to vent out as much as possible. So the body for this one is designed for the four-wheel drive. Of course, you can also put that on the two-wheel drive, and we will sell that as an option accessory in our parts list. You'll be able to get this body for either two-wheel or four-wheel drive. Just make sure um, it's the one that you're really looking for. All right, so also going on with the decal sheet that you're going to see in here, you're going to see the TS4 decal sheet. Of course, it's got listed off the decals, plenty of off the decals in there for you to label out the car and also TS4. And you're also going to note in here, and we want to make sure that everybody understands this, that your servo hardware, um, all your gear in there is actually in the bag itself. Of course, we're waiting for this at the bottom here to show you. That's the hardware. That's the servo horn and so on. Um, because a lot of people have a misunderstanding that it's not in the box. They keep on thinking that it's with this bag, which is the shock bag, um, and that's everything set in there. Of course, there's oils and some hardware, but your hardware for the servo is going to be in the decal bag, so please take a note on that. Um, you'll notice all that stuff in there for that. Of course, the headlights, uh, brake lights, and some of the other TS2 decals will be in that sheet. Shocks, your hardware, of course, for shocks themselves. Um, these ones are already built on this particular car. Uh, we wanted to show these fully built as in what they look like when they were set up, but we just sealed them back in the bag and put some shock oil in there. Of course, you're going to have to build yours and you'll have, need to follow instructions and make sure that you put the right shims in the right proper place and all the O-rings in the proper places too. So um, make sure that you match everything up, uh, four by four by four, of course, from what the manual shows you there. And of course, the nitride shocks are already assembled on this, very smooth. Uh, very scratch resistant on there and they're very very high quality so 12 millimeter big bore shocks come into the car kit themselves we'll get to the car kit and we'll pull that out of there and remove the car from the box of course we'll turn this around and we'll show you <coughs> your TS4 short horse of course it does come with a an aluminum chassis from front to back so there's no plastic seating on there of course the bumpers themselves the skid plates on the front end is all plastic and that'll become comes with a hard impact bumper on it that you're going to see of course it is a pivot type of bumper on there so it absorbs a lot of impact on her and of course the circle in there to absorb the blow from that okay so the way you see this the car right now this is fully completed it's an 80 percent roller of course you don't have to get in there and build this car the first time it's already set up with diff oils and ready to go as you can see the front suspension you're going to see uh, adjustable camber links on the car and um, you're going to see CVDs front, back, and down the middle of the car, of course. And we'll see if I could turn that actually this way. And you'll see CVDs. Of course, these are laser etched on there. And you'll see that the, the distance on that one is 83 millimeters. Of course, the front, rear, and centers all have a different indication on there. So you know which one you're getting uh, when you place an order on it. And of course, refer to your instruction manual in there to get the right ones. 
Um, you're going to no also notice that the front of the car has a sway bar and of course the rear of the truck is going to have the sway bar and of course that is uh, uh, with a set screw to adjust the amount of tension that you want on there for the set screw. It is uh, ball captured on the ends of course and they're very strong um, and then they have the two millimeter ball in on them to keep them straight and uh, forward functioning and always retighten without disassembling the ball or disengaging the plastic ball cups from there so you can just get in there with a two mil and tighten those back up if they ever start getting loose. Of course, um, the shock towers are really, really low for the body mounts to sit on there. And of course, if you're looking at the body mounts, they come with this really nice body mount setting on there. Um, this is really good for your your all your short course. Of course, we're going to offer these as a separate part. It has a rubber grommet that you're going to see in there that the body's going to sit in to the Lexan. So the best thing about these is you'll get more lifespan out of your body. You won't tear them up so much. And they're also tethered with the body clip. So now you won't have to worry about looking for a body clip because it'll have the tethering on here. So once you pull the body off all in one piece, you'll have all four body clips on the body itself and the grommets in there saving it from all the twisting, bending, and flexing, and of course, upside down action that you may just uh, have when you're racing. All right, we'll get to the rear of the car. <clears throat> Same thing for the rear of the car, of course, CVDs, adjustable turnbuckles, and so on. Um, also a rear sway bar that you're going to see back, see back there and of course also the rear bumper section that you're going to see um, it's a full cage rear bumper for all those impacts and of course you have the nice Ofna logo mud flaps on there and those mud flaps will say in of course Ofna on there and you can take them on or off or have them replaced if you wished. CVDs like I said in the back and also um, <clears throat> the gearboxes like I said are oil filled themselves there's front rear and also the center of the car and in the center of the car you're going to see a composite molded uh, spur gear of course I'm trying to remember I believe it's 52 tooth on there and you're also going to see an aluminum motor mount that's also on there of course that's a slider adjustment on there so you will be able to put your 550 motors on there without a problem or your 540 uh, short cam motors of course the battery uh, setup on here is at the very rear of the car right behind the center diff and you'll be able to do that across the chassis of the line. Uh, we might have some options for this for extra rear weight later on down the line. We do have some option parts available for it at this point in time, and you'll be able to get those um, through our Offner Warehouse site or your local retailers. Um, of course, it is body clip mounted, of course. You'll be able to slide it down and lock it in place. There's a removable door here that, that opens up, and you'll slide it in and set your battery in place. Uh, the steering knuckle or the uh, servo saver link itself, um, see if I can get a really good shot, bend that over right there. It does have a servo saver spring loaded system in there so that your servo can take some of the grunt without getting fully maxed out and uh, burning the motor up or anything like that or blowing a gear or so on. So you'll be able to adjust some of that attention in there and not hurt your servo to begin with. Of course, this is a double-decked uh, four-wheel drive. Of course, you have a front and rear double-decker on the chassis itself. Um, it's adding for a little bit of more reinforcement on the top to keep the chassis from flexing, but yet narrow enough to add the flex so it adds rear traction front and rear to the car. And I'll tilt it up just a little bit more, and you're going to see the CVDs, of course, that run down the middle of the car. And this one's stuck in here. Yeah, I guess they put that in place, but you'll see that the CVDs run front and rear and that they angle up so they can have the clearance on them. Uh, that way it clears the battery in the back, of course. You'll see that right here, and there's just enough to, uh, room right there for roar-proof battery packs, of course, and you'll be able to know when you put the battery in. If it slides in, then you'll be able to clear without a problem on there. Um, there's also a shroud for the center gear, of course, so that you won't get anything spitting as it goes around in, in there and start tearing up things. So that shroud is pretty cool to keep uh, some of the debris down low into the chassis instead of bouncing around. Um, the wheels themselves you're going to see, of course, they will not come with a set of tires. That is by choice of the racer themselves. Of course, these are multi-hole wheels on there, and they're really nice-looking wheels. You'll be able to go out and buy your favorite brand of Pro Lines, AKAs, VP Pros, or so on um, to go out there. Of course, a lot of guys either indoor or outdoor, and you know, us supplying a tire in there would not be adequate for the either or driver. So that is the reason why we don't run or uh, offer tires in the kit. Looking at the bottom of the chassis itself, we'll get down here. Of course, super strong arms that you're going to see front and rear. 
and these arms are pretty darn thick so I would say they're about eight millimeters thick um, they're almost as close as you can get to an A scale on there and of course the chassis itself is countersunk screws on there and it's flat all the way across the only kick up is in the actual front bumper itself so this will stay and maintain as a flat chassis uh, we will offer an option lightweight chassis that's 7075 of course and you'll see it in a hard coated uh, uh, finish rather than a black finish of course this chassis you're seeing here is your stamped aluminum black chassis but it's still very adequate for this car to keep up of course the car is very very lightweight and uh, once you put your batteries, gears, and motor in there, you'll, you'll still have a car that maintains a very good weight and its agileness. Uh, it'll be very, very swift and very responsive when it comes to steering. Um, it's a, not a bad car for what it is. Uh, I thought it'd be a little bit heavier, but it's an awesome looking car. So that is what you have in the new TS4 Short Course Pro 4 Roller. Thanks for watching. This show has been sponsored by RCDeal.com. So remember, RCDeal.com for your RC auction and web store needs. It's RCDeal.com.